In this video, I'm going to talk about generic bullying and the one thing that really kind of scares me about some of the generic bullying I see, um, you know, how generic is too generic. And um, in my opinion, too generic means it's not marked or easily identifiable by who produced that round. Um, what we're looking at is a NTR Buffalo off of uh, Provident Metals. And it doesn't have a NTR stamp. Like, you know, if you buy this and you go to resell it, you know, someone's going to have to take your word that it's a NTR Buffalo and you bought this thing from Provident. And I think counterfeiting is going to become... Um, more of a problem as time goes on. I don't think counterfeiting is going to fade away. So I always like to find generic silver that is stamped by who made it. Because that's, uh, you know, when you go to sell it, you know, it's going to come under scrutiny. No matter if it's real or fake, it's going to be scrutinized. And I see, like, these uh, bars coming up for sale on Atmax. And... They're not stamped at max, and I don't know who produced these. Um, but if you buy this from at max, you know that you're getting an authentic bar. But when you, if you went to go sell that second hand, say in 20 years, in the year 2035, that's not going to be recognizable. A lot of people aren't going to know what that is, where it came from. Uh, I just think that it's a bar that you kind of want to avoid. I always. You know, if I'm buying a 10 ounce bar and it's uh, like the year of the horse one I have, it's stamped OPM and Provident. So they know where that one came from. This one, it doesn't have any type of stamp on it. So yeah, that's uh, the type of silver that I really try to avoid. It just seems like um, it would be more of a hassle to unload if you have a bunch of unstamped silver they're going to want to sit there and do acid tests all day long whereas if you have Zombux or something that's more identifiable of where it came from where it originated I think you're going to have an easier time selling it so if you're going to be buying buffaloes uh, you know, you can do what you want to do with your money. I would rather put my money in the sunshine minting rounds or, you know, just even any type of bar. Uh, I like to find oddball items, but stuff that's definitely marked or um, easily uh, identifiable or you can actually figure out where it came from. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.